Well, now we're going to call and see if we can get a hold of Ramon Valadez or one of his guy secretaries he has over there and see if we can find out if they can get someone to send a, a legal advisor to answer legal questions that the floodplain management guys never seem to want to answer. All right, here we go. Let's make the call. County Administrator's Office. Hi, is there someone available uh, in Ramon Valadez's office? I have some questions about this flyer about a Lee Moore Wash Basin Management Plan in a public meeting. One moment. Okay. What kind of planning, Connie? Hi, is this someone in Ramon Valadez's office? This is planning and rezoning. Hello? Yeah, planning and rezoning. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I just asked to speak to someone in Ramon Valadez's office from his, I guess, the secretary's office there. Are you guys in the same office? Uh, who are you looking for? Well, I was trying to speak with someone in Ramon Valadez's office. Oh, no, we're not in the same... Well, that's where I called. Someone must have transferred me to you. Can you send me back up there? Hold on. I have to find out what extension that is. That was the Board of Supervisor, right? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Thank you. Not the number either. the number should I just call back myself Administrator's office. This is Maura. May I help you? Uh, yeah. Is this the Board of Supervisors floor there up there? Um, no. This is the County Administrator's office. Would you like the Board of Supervisors floor? Yes, please. All right. One moment, please. Sir? Yes. Okay, are you looking to speak to a particular supervisor's office? Yeah, Ramon Ballad is. Okay, just a moment, please. Thank you. Michael. Hello, Michael. Uh -huh. Hey, I, I got a flyer in the mail, and it's about a Lee Moore Wash Basin Management Plan, and it says that that representatives from the district and project team will be there to answer questions and address concerns uh -huh. about the plan. And in the overall study, several issues were brought to the attention. 
I just spoke to Bill Zimmerman not long ago, uh -huh. and I asked him since some of the questions don't get answered at the meetings, and he, he cited as some of the questions might be legal questions. That's what some of the flood control representatives have cited. Then maybe uh, I asked Bill Zimmerman if maybe you could get one of your county attorney legal advisors to come down to make sure everybody gets their questions answered. To the Lee Moore Wash study meeting? Yeah, at, at the at the study meetings, if we okay. could get someone there that could fill in the blanks whenever the other guys don't seem to have the answers. Okay. He said he wouldn't commit to it, but he put something in. I thought I should go to the office above his head and put something extra in, saying that there's probably some other people that would appreciate Answers. Well, definitely forward that to Ramon and then let him know and then um, see what, what can be done. Okay, well, that would be very good. Uh, is Ramon Valadez, is Supervisor Valadez going to attend the meetings? Um, I do not know at this time if he'll be, uh, if his schedule's going to permit that. I don't know if he's going to be there or not. Hmm, well, there's two different ones. Maybe, maybe uh, he could get to one of them since he is the representative for the area where the meetings are uh -huh. uh, concerning issues. <laughs> okay, uh, if you could put that in, that 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 probably be good. Then uh, then people could get their questions answered, and uh, the county might get more input as to what are other problems lying within this study that haven't actually been addressed. Okay, we'll look into it. Thank you much, there. You have a good day. Thanks, you too. Well, I can only imagine, folks, that. They're not going to have a legal advisor show up to answer the questions we want answered relating to the problems that Pima County is allowed to happen, like piss poor engineering, bad planning, too long of a leave more wash basin study with no action in between that time where other people was getting damaged by floodwaters that Pima County should have had a handle on before now. Anyways, I'm going to sign off this right this uh, vlog right now, video log, and, and uh, maybe I'll call Ramon Valdez back, see if I can get an appointment for something else or something. All right, all, thanks for tuning in, and uh, help your neighbors wake up. Don't let them sign this floodplain use permit that helps them waive their right to redress the county if problems arise from uh, approval of the permit, because if a neighbor up the street gets water in their house because... The county approves something because, you know, they're supposed to know better. But then the neighbor can say, ah, the guy that put the block wall up is the problem. And then the county will say, well, they waive their right to sue us, so why don't you just sue your neighbor? And the county will try to step out of it and pass the buck. That's un-American. That's treacherous. And uh, I don't think I like it very much. And I think it's kind of a, a big problem for everybody that goes down there and signs this paper that doesn't realize what they're doing. So that's what I'm trying to do is wake people up. Realize what you're doing. Read the print. Don't trust your government. Question authority. And make uh, logical decisions when you see something in front of you that you're about to sign that says, oh, you're screwed over in the future if we approve this and you have a problem with your neighbors because we let you do it. Oh, it's not our problem, it's your problem. That's what the county will say. All right, well, think about that note, folks. And uh, we'll see where we follow up from this. Have a good day, all, and have a better tomorrow.